Everyone, one about here, and welcome to Death Must Die. It is finally out in early access, and unfortunately, I was wrong. It looks like demo demo progress was not saved, or at least uh, not for this intro mission. Death comes for you. So, uh, if you guys haven't seen this game before, it is a combination of. Oh right, we can also toggle auto attack, but I don't want that. Uh, it's a combination of Diablo style equipment and uh, Vampire Survivors gameplay and Hades style like mid-run power-ups. It's really cool and there's nothing quite like it. I know the uh, bullet heaven genre is kind of extra. Oh, hello. We have a mini map. What does that mean? Oh, alms. Alms? A good omen. Okay. This is different. Hey, you're the one time gave their hourglass to, huh? Well, whatever it is you're doing here, I'm always the first to help mortals, so allow me to lend a hand. I was not expecting voice acting. Okay, so what do we want? Ventral strike, attacks become stronger, apply burning, but that's barely anything. Meteor shower, breath of fire. I'm gonna go breath of fire, uh, just because we're already kind of melee bonus, or melee focused, and it seems like a good idea. We want to head for whatever these shrines are. I don't know what they are, necessarily. Oh, you're different. Trying to the Oni Demon. Ooh. Okay. So the demon is laughing at you, mocking you. So we can ignore the statue, gain evasion. Rude gesture, gain damage against enemies above 50% life. Or we can gain less adept and expert offers and more master offers. This would be interesting later. I think I'm going to go for the... Uh, frankly, I'm going to go for the evasion. I like the fact that there's a mini-map. It's going to make finding these shrines so much easier, all things considered. But yeah, my entire goal, for the most part, is to wander around looking for those as much as I can possibly get. Because they're going to... They're going to specifically have, uh... Like, cool perks and abilities like that. I... Frankly, those statues are... Oh, I'm Summer, by the way. The goddess of all the hot stuff. Fires, volcanoes... You know it. Okay, so Meteor Shower, more Breath of Fire. I think I'm just going to keep investing in Breath of Fire for the time being. It's not bad. Like, it's pretty good. It just makes my melee attack solid. Okay, what do we have over here? Chest. Ancient chest, we find an item. So we get a starting belt of vigor. And yeah, we can just kind of punch through using fire. Do my headphones turn down? No. My headphones are dying, so I'm kind of weighing whether or not... I'm back. I'm back. I wish to smack you with my fire. There we go. Yeah, he had a bit of a shield bar, but now that it's gone, I can just mop him to death. Keep doing Breath of Fire? Absolutely. And we got some equipment. I should probably equip them. So extra damage, attack time. So estimated DPS attack range, night only. And then also starting belt of Vicar, armor, life, and a attack projectile and spell vo velocity. Binds on pickup. Oh, so you actually have, uh, you're binding gear to different classes. So it's not like you're gonna be able to have a universal item set like you did in the demo. You know, frankly, cool. I'm actually really excited to see all the, the changes that they've made. Uh, I, I mentioned that they took down the demo and it doesn't carry over. Uh, I think I mentioned they took down the demo, but there is no longer a, uh, a demo for Death Must Die anymore. <sighs> there we go. I want to stun lock the Soda Man. And we get chest. Spell damage increase, breath of fire more. Yeah, if I can get a bunch of attack speed, that's going to work really well for me. Okay. Uh, it's, ah, what kind of distracted. legend would it be without some fire and mayhem? I don't know how much I lost there, but that's fine. Breath of Fire just got a big up upgrade, too. Nice. Now, I don't know if that permanently makes it adept, but, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go all in on fire and work my way up there. If I seem a little distractible, it's because I more or less just woke up. I generally should not record in the AM, but... I'm trying to get a hold on my, uh, my backlog a little bit. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to get a hold on my- Oh my gosh, this is way more slimes than there used to be. Alright, it's fine. This is why I went for a big fire blast. 
Perfect. I don't remember there being this many. No. I... Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, we haven't gotten a hit yet. Mostly just due to the fact that the fire wave does more damage than my regular attacks and can... Nope, there it goes. It was bound to happen at some point. Yeah. Uh, ooh. This is tough. Because I like... I like the idea of this. Yeah. I'm just going to keep improving its quality. I'd like to... I, the enemies getting killed by fire explode? That actually would have been pretty good, but considering Breath of Fire is like my go-to... Uh, it's my go-to upgrade at the moment. It feels foolish of me not to make that as good as I possibly can get it. I do like the fact that I'm able to go all in, though I'm wondering if it's because we haven't unlocked any other gods. That This, this might be a one and done kind of run. Hero, oh no. I tasked you with defeating death. For this I reward you with my powers. Now obey. All right. So what do we have? Shurikens, enemies you hit shoot out shurikens. Stun thresholds are reduced. Or is, no. Let's go for the shurikens. Okay. And that's not that doesn't have a crown, so it's not beneath me, but it's not worth looking into. I'm a little disappointed we haven't found a shrine yet. It seems like they're not, they're no longer as easily, easy, as easy to find as they used to be. Nor is like health, which is a bit of a shame because I need both shrine. Okay. Pop him there. Now he's stunlocked. Unfortunately, my like big fire wave is really good against the beefy enemies. Dash leaves a path of fire. Oh no, no. Let's go for burning enemies. Leave fire when they die. Though that might not actually be as useful as I'd like it to be, because I think oh, no, 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 no. It does work. The problem is my pickup radius is way shorter than my, uh, my fire blast. Ooh. I don't know what the deal is. Obelisk of Sanctuary. Nothing can hit me. Okay, cool. I didn't get a last. But that's okay. We can kill the soda pops. Yep, they still sound like soda. Heck yeah. Ow. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to get wrecked by something here. Uh, let's see, what are you? Baron's right hand. Bronze brazier. Persistence. Ow. Wow. That hurt. Yeah, I like the fire wave. I, unfortunately, only being able to trigger it with my attacks, not the easiest. Okay, so what else do we have? Well, we've got... Our hourglass has brought you back. Step into the water once more, hero. We cannot follow you, but soon others will come to your aid. Death will stand trial for his transgressions. Cool. And we have the stash where I can move things around. Demo? Oh. Reroll dice, banish dice, alteration dice, binds on equip. It's a relic. Do I do it? Nope, equipping it. Okay, we have a different We have a different sword. So less DPS, more summon damage, so not very good. Yeah, I'll take the, the reroll and the banish and whatnot. We'll see what happens. I don't like the knight that much. We need a lot more equipment to be good at, good with them. Okay, Tree of Wisdom. Ooh. Reduce pull area, gain more experience. Can't get master or legendary boon offers. All skills offered are expert. Gain luck. We're going to go humility. I wasn't even expecting master or legendary. And so just like purple skills only is going to be a huge boost here. Now there was a shrine out this direction, yeah? 
Yeah, reducing my pull radius on this run would have been pretty disastrous. So I want nothing to do with it. And unfortunately, we couldn't find any magnet shrines. The path to victory is littered with the fallen. Okay, so what's he got? Rampaging, strike damage, knockback, chains of war, chance to create a chain that rotates around you, 10% uh, chance, or enemies you hit shoot out shuriken. Let's try chains of war. I think the chains of war can maybe trigger themselves? I have no idea. Looks like we actually have a lot of shrines in the area. Stone of power. And we've got a rabbit. Jumper. I don't know how many of these are actually like the big useful ones and how many of them are just... Never cross me. Okay, ooh, we can make that AOE bigger and the duration longer. Gain attack speed for every ruptured enemy. I'm gonna go for that. I have no idea how useful it is. We currently don't have a whole lot of ruptured anything, so probably not that helpful. Ah, Shrine of Collecting, so it's the hand. Unfortunately, kind of... meaningless at the moment. But who knows, we might actually find a bunch of shrines today. At which point, we can actually gather all this EXP. Because, to some degree, what we should be doing is running around and finding all those, like, mini bot or not mini statue mini boss statues the uh statues of the other gods i'm sorry i don't take protestations from skeletons ah, a mortal with courage let's see if you're worth more than the dirt you tread on they did a lot of those well let's do shurikens if i get extra attack speed based on how many people are are ruptured then Rupture away? Honestly, not having any master or legendary upgrades is fine for me, given the situation. Clover Garden. Chance to lose gold or find an item. I don't know. I suppose we didn't get the item. But that's okay. Whoops. There we go, and now he's in stun lockdown. And we get... You wish to know my purpose? To hell with you. A mortal who begs the gods is no more than a worm below their feet. Okay. Dash damages and knocks back enemies. Yeah, let's go for that. Today sounds like a crom day. Also, these chains are great. Chaos would love this. Oh, if only they could see it. So what do we have? Ventral Strike, attacks become stronger, apply Burning, Breath of Fire, Meteors Fall from the Sky. I think I'm going to go for Burning. A little bit extra damage. It seems like the uh, the God Powers don't do as much bonus damage as they used to. Uh, but honestly, that kind of makes sense. That way you're not disincentivized from picking them up. Curse you, Gravedigger. Interesting. Now, let's keep looking around. Because on one hand, it's worth fighting enemies. On the other hand, we want to find this lad. Okay, so this is useless to me. Damage against enemies above 50% life. I'm actually going to snag that. Here's why. See how they have that blue bar? If I can actually knock that off of them much faster, that makes my life considerably easier. There we go. There we kind of go. I still have a bunch of these shield guys. But yeah, all, the, all that bonus damage. Oh, that did knock him out of the dash. Shoot. They don't really have the health to go around now, there. Now isn't this curious? You are so intertwined with time itself that it's really hard to get a read on your fate, hero. Will you fail? 
or succeed. Or maybe it'll be one of the others. I don't remember them having tails last time. Oh, sorry. They haven't arrived for you yet. But it would be a shame to see you fail. Perhaps we could fudge the numbers a little. Okay, so attack hits in a wider area. Dashes become longer. Ch attacks have a chance to crit. Uh, let's go for the wider area. I know the crit chance probably is better. Ow. Ow. Dude did not want to stun lock. Oh, blessed be. I think the sacred well. Yes! Oh, and it looks like it's slime time. Here's the thing, though. Unlike the fire wave that we were dealing or using earlier, this is going to be a much more, like, broad build, and those spinning chains should be able to just keep them off my butt. Nope, I was wrong. Those chains should be able to keep them off my butt if I can actually get the chains swinging. No chains, no swing. Okay. Shuriken Pierce, Stun Threshold. Knockbacks, effects are more potent. I think I'm going to go for the Warpack first, just being able to run things harder. Seems extremely valuable. And I am just going to sit here and hope for the best. I mean, I seem to be doing reasonably well. I don't want to use my dash too much. Oop. For off chances like that. There we go. Alright, so far so good. I'm just... Rather than going out of my way to collect all of this, I'm mostly going to hope for a Magnet Shrine. But this is something else. Whenever you become attacked, chance you shoot out a Firebolt. Burning enemies... Leave a fire when they die? No, I'm, I'm actually going to just go for the raw damage. Upgrades. Dark Brazier. Power. I don't know what that means. Ow, ow. Bad time to get stuck. I don't think we actually took damage there, though. You know, now that the Krom's Dash actually has, like, a... Uh, let's see. And now that the Chrom Dash actually has damage associated with it, I could actually see, like, a fully uh, Chromulent bar uh, dash build, where you just go all in on dash. Attacks become even stronger, imply burning. Yep. I'm just going to make it so that my primary weapon hits do, like, a ton of damage. Let's get up here, just in case it has much of anything. More power. And I'll just... I'll just keep wandering. We do a ton of damage. Oh, there's one. Whoops. Ow. Yeah, they don't stun lock as easy. I'm noticing. I'm also noticing it's very easy to use both of my dodges simultaneously. Which ain't great for me. Okay. You drop some good EXP. The problem is You've dying. You've been enlisting a lot of help from the others, haven't you? I bet he wouldn't expect his own tools against him, though. Mind if I join? Yeah, I'm Mort, Death's daughter. But I'd really like to see him defeated, nonetheless. Personal reasons. Okay, so you're luckier. Text have a chance of spawning phantoms, or... Uh, let's see, whenever you kill an enemy, a chance to spawning a weekend. Experience shard, cursed... Uh, cursed enemies have a higher chance of dropping EXP shards. That's not a, actually that bad. Do I want the phantoms? Do I want... You know, I'm gonna go for the luck. I have no idea how the luck exactly functions here.
Okay, but I do know that I am hosed. Maybe? Yep. And we need some better equipment. I needed extra dashes there. I should have gone for them, though I think I didn't see him go by? Oh no, we had the um we had the damage dash. Well, one way or another. This is gonna be much easier now that we have my favorite character, current favorite character. Did not expect a living guardian at Death's Gates. I'm no guardian. Just went for some fresh air. I was told to expect others. I suspect you were the first to come. First to come? Who are you, uh, what are you talking about? Or are you talking about me? It might take me a while to explain everything. So, you want me to go down there with the hourglass? Only one can wield it. Good luck. Alright. Yeah, I really like this character because uh, ranged attacks make life a lot easier on me. Oh good, I can dash a ton in here. Can I talk to him? No, it looks like we're just on our way. Now... Can't be equipped, can't be equipped. Bind unequip. And cannot be equipped heavy armor. So we can also see... Yeah. Oh yeah, bound to Averon. And then knight only. So yeah, she can't she can't equip any of his gear. I do like that though, that you can actually have different gear sets for each character. Currently it doesn't really matter. We don't have enough gear to actually make it work. Don't worry, Rhett, I'll find you. Well for now I'm just going to fireball. Yeah, definitely want to get our hands on dash if we can. And then boy, if we could find that luck chest again, I'd be a happy camper. Elusive shirt. Evasion, spell duration. Ooh, spell duration is actually pretty good. All right, let's just motor our way out of here. Oop. We didn't introduce ourselves last time. Where are the fates? Clo, the sleeping one, spins the strings of life. Lachi measures them and all that boring stuff, while I, Isa, snip snip with the scissors when the time comes. I have the most fun job. It does get tiring to see them all go, though. Always, forever, and ever. But maybe you'll put an end to that. Who knows? Okay, so dashes become longer, attacks hit a wider area, or attack faster. I'm gonna go for the dashes become longer. Seeing as dashes are apparently... Well, I mean, we know dashes are kind of important. Bonfire. Reminds you of home. And then peace of mind. Which I think might be a... Maybe not an EXP booster, who knows. Let's just grab our gold. At some point, we're going to get the merchant here. And then we can actually spend that. Let's see. It looks like the we're not finding any of the fun shrines yet. To the harvest. So maybe it's high time he started. Okay. Deck has a chance of spawning phantoms. Raise skeletons when you kill a number of enemies. Skeletons raised from cursed enemies last longer. Attacks become cursed and resolve curse status immediately. So... Good, lower rarity than I'd like, though. But, honestly, I'm going to go for it. Because, yeah, we get an extra projectile. They move a little bit faster. Their range is, quote-unquote, shorter, but because of the extra extra velocity, I think it is a 10% range up. Let's see. And, yeah, they have Pierce, too, which just makes life so much easier. I didn't know enemies could actually drop shrine buffs. Well, that's welcome. Okay. Do we want to just... Oh, I see. It just raises the rarity. Sure. Will please be a fun shrine? No, it's the bonfire. Reminds you of home. Still don't know what the bonfire... Nets me. Nowhere... Oh, grave. Find an item. A lot of these probably aren't going to be that helpful, but some are going to be great. Okay, that one didn't have anything. This? No, it's a well. 
We've got two shrines up here, so I should probably motor for them. Oh, for starters, though, we should kill this guy. I should probably also check to see if the other archer is still out there harassing me. Probably not, but you never know. No. So, sometimes there's the, uh, the archer with a crown. Here we go. Grab it. Careful messing with your fate, mortal. You are but men. Gods dictate your paths, not you, or those despicable know-it-alls. I can't tell if this is Shadow or if the dude has, like, a, a shirt that only goes up to his armpits and not his pecs. Okay, rotating blades, enemies you shoot, rupture, stun threshold. Let's go for the stun threshold. I'm hoping for better rarity, but who knows if we actually get lucky with that. Okay. Shame I... Oh, no, this is the... Skull crown. He just doesn't have the crown this time around. Ow. Okay, so do we want? Extra damage? Sure. We should probably go for the extra effects, but later. Ooh, what is this? Feel unimpeded. Ah, uh, it's just speed shrine. And a mineral spring. Which is peace of mind. Nah. I missed that purple, uh, that automatic purple skill upgrade. That was really good. Eventually we're gonna have gear that gives us the, that same kind of effect. Ish. We'll have some gear that gives us some approximation of it. Okay, and we've got another well. Plenty of healing around, I think. Yes. Which is good. I really appreciate having actual, uh, a multitude of healing. And the, the shrines are way more interesting than they used to be, which is something I appreciate thoroughly. Not to say that the, the previous version of Death Must Die was a little bit less interesting. It was less dynamic. Um, ow. Okay. Whenever you kill an enemy, a chance that spawns weak experience shard. Oh, that gives us that. Yeah, the problem is what I want is something that causes enemies to get cursed. I'll go go for execution for the time being. Maybe I should have gone Skeleman. Or we die here. the magnetic gloves before everything goes too too bad for me okay oh she doesn't have a weapon yet that probably explains her lack of damage okay enemy stun thresholds shurikens or I'm just gonna go blades we need some extra damage here and the shuriken shurikens aren't really it. Oh boy, that was um a small trial. Okay, so this is actually this is actually mid boss. I want to kill him if I can. Unfortunately, I'm not in the strongest position here. In fact, I am... I am pretty close to dead. There. He's currently stunlocked. Ah, uh, lost him. Lost him on the dodge. Did he just drop EXP? Damn. Sometimes they drop items. Chains of War. Sure. Uh, 
Okay, some soda pop knights. The rupturing blades aren't amazing for what I'm doing here. Okay, let's just keep looking for useful skill shrines. Persistence. Unfortunately, there's not much I can do here apart from kind of run away. And hope we can find a useful shrine or some items. Because that's the other thing. Well, I'm hosed. That's okay. Yeah, Chains, Chains of War, mostly better on a melee character, but whatever. I'm back. Great. The hourglass worked. Oh, the hourglass worked. I'm back. I still don't understand why time gave us the hourglass. We see the righteousness of our cause. Y yes, righteousness. It's unknown of gods to sacrifice, yes. And so much at that, too. But time's focus must be on more important matters than themselves. Hey, and now we have the merchant, so I can actually sell things. Got all the gods... Oh, got all the gods down here helping you, huh? Uh, you know, I'm a bit of a god myself. Why don't you bring some of God's stolen or death stolen goods and I'll lend you a hand too or a sword? Okay, so unfortunately no sword. So let's sell a couple of these. He's got that. More skill rarity upgrade offers. Sure. Okay, so we've also got big shard upgrade. Armor evasion spell? Nah. Okay, so what else do we have? Shard pull area, evasion life, powerful sword of summoning. But yeah, it's all tier 1. Shard pull area, 5 armor. So I could go for this. It only costs me a little bit, so sure. Okay. I think I'm functionally... Yeah, there's nothing else I can do at the moment. OMG, it's shiny. I know some people were mad that the... Uh, the sorceress was a little internet speaky, but whatever. All right. So unfortunately, we don't have any of the achievements done with the sorceress yet, but that's fine. So I'm probably going to use her until we can get enough gear that the uh, knight has a better chance. Admittedly, uh, we got drubbed pretty... What? Wizard? Hello, hero. Allow me to offer you some of my wizardic might. Way better than that warrior can offer you or that nasty rogue, except the wizard's aid. Faster cooldowns, summon damage. Uh, uh, go for the summon damage. I don't see a, a rogue or a warrior. It should be, instead of wizardric, it should be arcane. Sorry. Probably a meaningless quibble, but it means something to me. Wizardric just sounds funny. Okay, Shrine of Sanctuary, but that's not helpful. I wonder if there will be any, like, passive perk-looking things. I'm now cursed for our, my actions. Ah, reduce luck. That's unfortunate. I need the items, though. Like, eventually we can maybe ignore the graves. War. Let's see. War never changes. Tech shoots more projectiles than knocked back enemies. Here? Sure. No reason not to, to some degree. War totem bloodthirst. I don't know what bloodthirst gets us. Can I check? Ah, extra damage. And some of these might be permanent. Or, not permanent, but they actually do stick with me for the rest of the run, rather than just like a temporary little deal. Feel that? The heart-stopping bite of frost? The captivating embrace of cold? I am winter, and I've come to enchant this bitter place with my beauty. Okay, so we've got new new character. Dash throws ice shards that deal damage apply shield. Frost ring... Yeah, let's go with the, uh, let's go with the dash. 
Uh, those are really good, actually. Let's get cursed again. Nope, powerful staff, which we need desperately. Because, yeah, that's a big old damage bonus. I mean, okay, it's not the hugest of damage bonuses, but it's up there. Okay, so I'm just gonna bully this guy into a non-existence. He's got magnetic gauntlets for me. When my time comes, life shivers and hides. How can the living appreciate my beauty with his scythe above them? Okay, so... This will increase our dash range and ice shard damage. Couple attacks, Frost Ring or Trail of Frost, wherever we go that chills enemies. Let's just make it so following me is harder. Especially because I think we have extra spell duration. Not by much, but it's like 10%. I wonder if I can get both the fire and ice and it just leaves water behind me as kind of a gaff. Prayers are answered. 3% heals. Aha! You thought you could follow me. Funny joke. Yeah, so you did have the crown above him. Fear not, frail mortal. For I've come to guide you in your plight. Okay, so we can make it better. Make that last longer. Frost zone spawn at random, dealing damage and chilling enemies. Uh, let's just upgrade our dash. Because I don't think I'm going to go for a full dash build here. Experience teaches you well. So I guess I should probably actually take some time to fight. Ow. Shurikens. Attack shoots more projectiles, knocks back enemies, stun threshold. Nah, I'll just go for the raw damage. Raw damage! I really wish I could make the raw science voice from Grounded. That's... Like, that's going to be my only takeaway from that game, is just, like, years from now, I'm just going to be attempting to say, Raw Science! And, yeah, still failing at it. But I'm going to keep trying. Oh, big damage boost. Right when I need it most, these shield guys can be kind of rude. That's a tough one. Okay, one shrine to the north, two shrines below. Guess we'll get this one and then head south. Ask? Let's see, 1% pickups. I'm sure that, yeah, the, the damage buff ain't permanent. Okay, a couple attacks, freeze, immobilize enemies, take more damage. Let's just do frost zones. Because that's just kind of handy. I wonder how many other gods were added in this. Because Winter is the first, I think, new one that I've seen. Uh, time, too, I suppose. Is kind of sort of new. I thought I was out of range. And yeah, we might want to make... We want to might want to go for the frozen enemies take more damage. Maybe. That one's a little tougher just because, I mean, I guess we are actually fighting quite a lot of enemies that are frozen solid. Ah. I'm not trying to do a double dash, it just happens. I guess I'll improve the rarity of my attack. Unfortunately, losing that or spending a level just to improve a rarity one step is kind of tough. I mean, it's about as good as an actual level, so it's not terrible. Okay. 
I'm in a okay-ish position. Because my my luck is worse now. My luck is worse now. So be it. I mean, my main thing is I'd like to maybe get past the uh, two flyer mid bosses, or no, they're they're actual bosses at this point. If they're if they've got names. And, uh, like, separate health bars. Ow. Yeah, I deserve that a little. Bonfire reminds me of home. No idea. Help you? Well, we're not exactly helping you. It's your own fate. You're the one sewing it. We're just lending an eye, if you will. Okay, so crit chance, more projectiles, lower area, attack faster. I think I'm going to go for the faster attack speed. What I really want is faster movement speed, if I can snag it. And some health. Okay, I'm going to punch this guy into oblivion. No. Sometimes he drops items. But I think usually he won't. Oh, Gremlin Root House. Dash cooldown. Heal. Gain knockback. Heal 15 life 15 max life. Dash cooldown. I'm gonna go for the heal and movement speed bonus for the next 60 seconds. Because, yeah, that puts me nearly back at full health. Make him feel the heat. Those of them that can, anyway. Alright, so what do we want to grab? Breath of Fire Flare. Whenever you get attacked? No. The Meteors are tempting. The Breath of Fire also is kind of good. Let's just go go with that. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'd seen some EXP. Down there previously. Alright, freeze him. Freeze him solid. Okay, got him. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> we get a katana. Sorry, this got stressful. Uh, let's see, spell damage increased, flare. Whenever you become attacked, nope, breath of fire again. And there, now we've got some sweet gear. Because the other reason why I want this gear is I can sell it. Okay. Oop. Did not mean to bonk pillar. There we go. Say no to the shield, man. Okay, I know we've got a shrine over here. The library. Bookshelf. Baron's Journal. Oh, lore? I like lore. I'm back, asshole. It's true, you are. And I slapped you into oblivion. Didn't gain much from it. Ooh, troll. Gain armor. Lose. Gain minus 20 evasion. Big bad death. You kill, I transfer knowledge on how to fight. You, What you want to learn? Armor. The loss of evasion is an interesting choice. Okay. Yeah, we haven't seen much for magnets go by. And that's... Oh, that 
that could have been deadly. Like I definitely could use a magnet at this point. We've lost a lot of EXP. Over time. Oh, no harm can come to me. Sick. Always makes my life easier. Oh, and my shield's gone. Right at the most inopportune time, it's fine. Getting closer this time. Hey, uh... Oh, hey, uh, I've never introduced myself. I'm Maris. Averon, nice to meet you. Can't wait to get to know you in the coming years. It shouldn't take us that long, I hope. Okay, so what is this? I guess let's check it first. Uh... Binds on equipped can't be equipped. Conundrum, to death I made my plea for the privilege of... Privilege to recruit mine own vessel... Vassal has been met with an ample proposition. Alas, it entices, entails the repossession of Van Helsing's soul in, unto the urns. I surmised was Mort that persuaded him to impose this condition. She seems to possess a peculiar leniency towards mortals. Perchance, my own thirst for vengeance hath been quenched enough. One can only hope that this necromancy proves a worthy trade for such a sacrifice. Interesting. I kind of feel like you should be able to read lore and have it uh, be put in a journal somewhere. Ooh, spell damage, more expert offers. Sure. Heal on level up, more expert offers, but that's bad. And then, yeah, what does the knife or knight have? We gain a reroll dice, but otherwise is bad. More or less armor, more shard polaria, and more EXP gain. I think that's worth it. Some more armor. Yeah, the other stuff ain't that good. It doesn't have any greaves. And these are vastly superior. So we're still looking for rings and a helmet, but we have none. And I haven't completed any achievements. For either of them. Okay, well, should we keep trucking on? I'm going to keep looking around in here, see if there's anything else. Luckily, you can infinite dash inside the safe zone. The entrance where I came from. I hope they, uh, they substantiate this background a little bit more. It's beautiful. Because, like, the pixel art on this game is gorgeous. Climb would have been easier if all the bridges were still standing. This is not exactly an outfit that I would expect somebody to be wearing in a mountain climb. I hope climbing down is going to be easier. Okay. Let's just do one more run. The runs are quick. At the moment. Eventually they're going to get much, much longer. But right now we barely have any equipment to speak of. Alms Gunobin. Ah, gains me luck. Got it. Yeah, so even these small passive shrines are still good. In their own ways. Okay, that's a big old looking library thing. I have to poke it first. Faster cooldowns, attack damage. Let's go for faster cooldowns. Okay, and this is just power, which is more spell damage. I don't know if that includes my regular attack. Why I'm doing this? Do we need a reason to set things on fire now, too? Okay, trail of fire. Dash leaves a trail of fire. The range is pretty long. Uh, let's see, whenever you get attacked, or attacks are stronger, and apply burning. So pierce, bigger area, decent damage. That's tempting. I'm going to go for Trail of Fire for the time being. Because one of the killers just seems to be uh, dash cooldown. 
Though, I know for a fact there's gear, uh, like boots and stuff that give you extra dashes. And so that's probably going to be my, my primary means of getting that up. Death has taken many life forms before their final grain of sand had fallen. His theft of time cannot be allowed to continue. Okay. So now we have time. Attacks become stronger. Enemies you shoot, you hit, shoot out experience shards behind them. Bounce. Lower damage. Experience pull areas increase. Whenever you pull an experience shard through an enemy, it takes damage. All of these are amazing. I almost, I kind of want this actually. I think I have to. Just because it sounds really funny and genuinely useful. I'd like to pick up his other perks. Ooh. Shrine of the Faint. Fates. Banishes alterations. Let's go for the alterations. I'm curious about what alterations do. Okay, let's... Bloodthirst. Ah, just raw attack damage. And chest, streetwise, belt. Probably not that good. It's really good. Passive EXP gain per second. It's... It's not... Like actually that amazing 0.1 EXP per second is is fairly small. The sand of the hourglass can only refill outside of Death's realm. Be resourceful with your time. Uh oh, I'm glad I waited. This is this would be great, but we're gonna go warp strike. A little bit extra damage, shard drop chance, shard EXP gain. I I really like this game. The the different like build combination abilities have so much fascinating potential and I want to see where it continues to go. As like I'm curious to see how many how many gods that they've actually like even packed into this. I get a magnet which is appreciated, trail of fire. So, fire duration, fire placement after da dash. I see. No, I guess I'll work on it. Oh. I makes the magnet really strong in retrospect. Time can be a bit depressing. Have some fun playing with fire instead. Okay, so Trail of Fire gets a little bit better spelled at Yeah, sure. I'll just do whatever. Nothing can hurt me for a while. I mean, it's nice. I'm still looking for... Uh, I don't even remember which statue it was. There's no, like, map that I can pull up, is there? No, of course not. Alright, let's go to the northernmost one and then figure it out. Oh, good. My attacks can bounce from one enemy and then back again. Okay, let's just get up in here briefly because there's a bunch of EXP I've left behind. I think that's going to be unfortunately kind of inevitable here. <coughs> that there's, there's going to be lots of EXP shards just tossed. Whenever you're playing a ranged character and you have to worry about this stuff. Powerful Firefly Staff of... Explosion? That sounds better than what I've got. Yep. So way more attack damage. And spell area and luck. Yep. Can't complain. Now what do we have here? Fallen hero. Curse you, gravedigger. Nah. Lost the XP again. I wish they'd just pop out and attack me instead. <laughs> now, 
They haven't actually done his voice acting. The oblivious time providing me an opening to break Death's skull. It's wonderful when you've got an insider, isn't it? Honor is for men mortal. Gods conquer by all means necessary. Uh, do we even care? I don't know, let's go for the shurikens. It's just kind of easy bonus damage on top of everything else. Especially with the weird bounce attacks. There we go. Oh, it's slime time. This should be interesting. I don't know. Uh, the slimes so far have been a bit of a, a doozy for the sorceress. But maybe not today. Nope, still a doozy. At least the EXP is great so far. Yeah, my shots aren't really bouncing. Let's see, attack speed for each ruptured enemy. Let's go for that. Okay, in retrospect, maybe not that helpful. I'm not quite rupturing as many enemies as I was hoping for. into their midst. Okay. It's kind of fine. Grab a bit of everything. Yeah, my projectiles aren't bouncing anymore. I wonder if these shurikens are actually messing with it. I'm just going to go for the experience pull area. Because that's just kind of a fun way of doing bonus damage. Yeah, so it looks like uh, the shurikens have kind of broken my, my bounce. And is, have just given me basic pierce. Whoa. Oh, it's the dragon. Movement speed. Don't get me wrong, that evasion would be lovely. Let's see. <laughs> so we want to do war pack, shurikens. Oh, we have a well. That's some blessed HP. We're barely gaining EXP anymore. Actually, are we gaining any? Looks like I'm level capped at nine. Oh no, it, we just require an ex, exorbitant amount of EXP. To make any progress here. Or no, not even that. It looks like it might have been a... It was hidden by the UI. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Got some shrines over here. Feel unimpeded. Find an item. Fortunately, it's not the bet. Ow. And fortunately, it's very easy for me to have to. Oops. I don't like how big their health bars are. I think it's the name. Oh boy. Okay. Not dead yet. Oh boy. Chains of War. Perk. Uh, let's see. Flare, dash, path of fire, path of fire. Alright, and bloodless. Attack speed for every ruptured enemy. No, let's just do rotating blades. That's a free rupture right there. 
Yeah, we're we're kind of maintaining the fact that we can go just a little bit longer. Okay, trying to damage. Good stuff. Make sure I don't get clobbered by any shield boys. And we saw a shrine down here. Good, because we need them. I don't know what this one is. Stone Brazier, bonus might. Oop. Damn it. Ugh. It's fine. Beating the two Baron's pets. Oh! We have an assassin. Who TF are you? Oh boy. I'm Maris. I mean, what are you doing here? Well, if you insist on knowing, you're going to have to stay a while and listen. Stay a while and listen. Alright, so we've got a completely different character. Who... We're going to have to just see how they work on the next episode. Hi, I'm Averon. Okay. Alright, so what kind of gear can she wield? Freaking nothing. So what else do we have? Nope, that's not very good. Not very good. Let's go to Avron. Specifically, yeah, these are really good. Sharp. <sighs> these are tough. I never used the alteration dice. Ah. Uh, change the blessings to one from a different god. So. Ooh, that's, an, that's a question. I don't know, we might just want that. Okay, and then these aren't very good. And then none of the- the, uh, thief can't wear any of these. we will just sell the mix. So what do we have? Extra movement speed. So she can also wear the extra movement speed. Get some good sandals. More adept offers. Oh, interesting. It's a different type of ring. Let's see. We also have specialist headband of elusiveness. Oh no, both of them can wear this one. Armor evasion, faster cooldowns, more expert offers. Sure. Now powerful staff or... Horror staff. No, none of them are particularly amazing. All right, well, one way or another, I think I'm going to leave this off here. We've got a third character to play around with. I don't know how they function, uh, but like I said, we'll just have to figure out that figure that out next time. I'll be playing a fair bit of Death Must Die just because this is, uh, as I've said multiple times in the past, this is m my favorite bullet heaven I think I've seen go by. Uh, either in quite some time or of all time, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Uh, and I want to see where it goes. And I also want to, like, get really good gear. And I want to maybe win and not just keep getting clobbered. I'm getting getting there, though. It's just taking some time. But I guess with all that said, uh, Death Must Die is going to be available on November... It's either 14th or 16th. Or 15th, and I'm completely wrong. 14th! Uh, and it's highly recommended. No matter what, this game is incredible. Well, not no matter what. But this game is incredible, and I cannot wait to see uh, where they've taken it beyond what I've seen so far. And beyond what I experienced from the demo. So, with that, I guess if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because i got tons to check out and show off. With that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.